Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Nathan Robert, and today we're going to be comparing two popular dividend ETFs known as Jeffy versus SVOL. And at first glance, you would say, okay, wow, these are two pretty correlated ETFs, but one of them has a much, much higher dividend yield. And we're going to be breaking it down all on a whiteboard, and then we're going to be at the end comparing their actual holdings and explaining their different strategies. And yeah, hope you guys uh, like this sort of breakdown. Uh, if you would, please leave a like for me and subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, let's just get straight into the breakdown. All right, so now let's compare the two ETFs. So here's Jeffy and here's SVOL. What I've done is I've duplicated everything on both sides, so it's really easy to understand. So five months ago, Jeffy paid out 57 cents. And in the most recent month, they paid out 44 and SVOL, they paid 32. They pretty much always pay 32, except for sometimes like right here, they paid 0.348, but yeah. Anyway, I've averaged um, each month, and that means on average you should get 0.558 cents with Jeppy a month, and point uh, with this 0.324 on average here. And uh, with that same math, that means this is a 17.3% dividend yield and 12.1% for Jeppy, which is actually a huge difference. Because look, with this same math, that means for 12 shares here, you get $6.67 monthly. And with that same amount of value as 12 shares, that's 29 shares because this costs less than 55. You get 29 shares, you get $9.43 for the same amount of principal. So it's kind of crazy. So that means for every dollar, you technically get 12.1 cents a year. For every dollar in SVOL, you get 0.17 cents yearly. So yeah, you kind of really start to see the difference. And it's crazy how consistent um, SVOL is paying out this uh dividend while still keeping up with jeffy's price appreciation so it's kind of crazy so now let's check out the assets under management so as we can see both of the etfs assets under management have been growing but as you can see jeffy looks a lot more safe with an actual way more 23 billion dollar you know assets under management versus way under a billion with svol but now let's talk about what their actual underlying assets are because Jeffy holds actual companies and sells cover calls on them. While VIX or SVOL owns the VIX that is 25% leverage. So they own the VIX, which is basically volatility. So as you can see here, it was like March of 2020 when the COVID pandemic happened, there was a ton of volatility. They actually own this with the 0.25x leverage and they also sell covered calls on it for protection to give you that extra dividend income. So as you know, they have two completely different underlying assets or one may not be correlated with the other at all. So as y'all know, SVOL sells covered calls on this and I forgot to mention that they're actually reversed. So check this out. As you can see, when this bottom was right here, that's when we were at the top right here. So they're actually reversed if you think about it that way. So as you can see, the VIX is at the bottom while this is kind of up here more. So I think for the cover call strategy, as long as the VIX doesn't just keep going lower and just stay low, I think we're going to be able to keep getting those good dividend payments, you know. So for this, if some sort of big news event happened and made the volatility go up or something, in this case, this would actually help you get more dividends in a way if you think about it. <laughs> So there's really two risks I see with SVOL, and that's it's relatively small assets under management compared to Jeppy. And the other one is actually its expense ratio, and it's actually 0.66%. And with Jeppy, it's actually only 0.35%. And while you may not say that that's that big of a difference, but that actually adds up a lot over time. And uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on that. So in conclusion, I think both of these uh, ETFs are very good to diversify and get extra passive income with. You know, that's why they're so popular. You get that monthly income with both of these. But if I had to go with one, I would personally pick Jeffy just because it's that bit safer with more assets under management and it's owned by JP Morgan and the expense ratio is lower. But the yield is not as high as SVOL. So I will give it that. It's actually substantially lower than SVOL with both of these still being way higher than normal dividend yields. You know, savings account, you barely get one to you know, 3%. Um, now with these, you get well over 10%. So I love dividend investing. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you would, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers and yeah, catch you guys in the next one.